darling, come to bed, she whispered. I was playing a video game. She didn't like that, but I wanted to play. I just needed to relax, but that wasn't part of the rules. Darling, I said come to bed, she said again, a little more forcefully. I told her I would be up in a minute, but we both knew that was not my intention. Darling, you can play for three more minutes, but you have to come to bed. That's exactly what she said, and I wish, oh, I wish I had obeyed, but instead, I kept playing, because I just didn't want to go to bed right now, but I'm in this relationship, and she has the right to dictate the rules, and say what to do, and I agreed to follow them. But tonight, tonight I did not, and it was a very bad choice. Darling, what did I tell you? My heart sank. Anytime she says those words, what did I tell you? It just meant that I had broken a rule, and I was going to have to pay for it. Darling, you know what to do. With a heavy sigh, I stopped my game. I looked up at her in her deep eyes. And she was glaring at me. Just glaring. I knew I'd broken a rule. And it was going to be bad. I I only wanted to play a video game. I tried to beg. I tried explaining myself. I just wanted to play a video game. That's all I wanted to do. But she was having none of it because she told me to go to bed, which normally was code for go to bed and worship her. But I broke the rules. I decided I wanted to play video games. It was a bad idea. So now instead of going upstairs and making her feel good for a few hours, I was going to have to go upstairs and be punished. It was not something I was looking forward to. Darling, you know what to do, is all she said, with that little bit of a groan, that little bit of a smirk she had. She knew what she was going to do, and she knew exactly how to make me suffer. With a heavy sigh, I got up and went to the bedroom. She entered and pulled back the covers on the bed and pointed. That was just awful. Anytime she points at the bed, all I'm allowed to do is lean over, place my hands on the bed, and not say a word. Next thing I know, she's pulling down my pajama bottoms. And did I see a... Oh no, I saw a cane in her hand. See, a long time ago, we had bought this 36-inch Delring cane. And it is fearsome. And I was nervous now because I knew I'd done messed up. But she was upset. Darling, you are ten minutes late to bed, and I had to tell you three times to come to bed, and you still refused. So that will be 36 strokes. My heart sank. 36 strokes was enough to leave some really bad marks. It was enough to make me cry. I wasn't in the mood for crying. It was enough to make me jump and scream, but I wasn't allowed. All I was allowed to do was place my hands on the bed 
while she stood beside me and slowly and deliberately gave 32 strokes of the cake, 36 very hard strokes, all the way from the top of my butt to the middle of my thighs. Sitting in the office would be very painful tomorrow. It would be awful. I would sit and wiggle and, oh, it would just be terrible. I even had a presentation to give. How can you stand in front of people and tell them, tell them exactly how your ideas are going to be the best thing ever whenever you are sitting here bent over and just waiting for those strokes to land like a little kid in an old school, just like the stories. All you can do is stand there and just wait for her to finish. I sighed. She just said, are you ready? And I nodded because I'm not allowed to say anything. One by one, she counted out, each one leaving a blasting, searing pain across my legs or my bottom. Either way, it hurt so much. I wasn't allowed to move my hands. I wasn't allowed to jump. I wasn't allowed to ask for a break. I just had to sit there and take it because I wanted to play video games and not obey her. Needless to say, I slept on my stomach that night. 